Well, greetings everybody and welcome back to Hogwarts. Yes, well, uh, just give me a second. I just realised that I've still got a bit of feedback going. There we go, just turn that off. Um, yeah, vacation is over and we are back. So, um, I've now got to remember what we were doing. What were we doing? Uh, quests. Find the location. Hmm, I'm thinking maybe we'll do some of these. Natty. Just to get back into it, let's do that. To start with. Now where have we got to go? Uh, world map. Oh no, no it was, it was Hogwarts. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, um, thank you. Talk to Adelaide Oaks. Okay, where is Adelaide Oaks when she's at home? That's Dorothy Sprottle. That's Claire Beaumont. Ah, oh no, that's Natty. She's in Hogwarts somewhere. There. Oh. Fine, we'll just do this way. Silly, silly thing. Because... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bouncy, bouncy. Let's just turn you back on. Thank you. That's why. I think there were dog's eggs as well. Yes. Hello, Adelaide. Adelaide Oaks, isn't it? I received your owl. Yes, I'm Adelaide Oaks. Oh, dear. You see, my uncle Roland is a metal trader who's quite well known in the world. <coughs> oh, this is, yeah, this is a good one to start. <coughs> Excuse me. In his last owl, he alluded to dealings with those radical goblins, Ranrock's loyalists. It's been ages since that owl, and I'm worried. What with the troll attack on Hogsmeade and the rumours that goblins may have been involved. Well, I'm fearing the worst. Should I be worried about my uncle or am I overthinking this? Yeah. I think you're right to be concerned, Adelaide. Your uncle may be in trouble. You're much more understanding than Professor Weasley. She heard I was going to look for him and forbade me from leaving the grounds. She's convinced he can handle himself, but I can't concentrate on anything until I know he's all right. I... Could you try to find out for me? From what I hear, you're almost as adventurous as Uncle Roland. Um, yeah, let's see what we can do. I'll try and look into it for you, Adelaide. Thank you. He's very thorough in his record keeping. Notes all his trades in a journal, makes maps. In fact, in his last hour, he drew me a map of his next stop. He planned to set up camp north of here. I do hope you're able to find out where he is. Thank you again for any help you can provide. 
Oh, I remember this one, I think. Oh dear, this is going to be... You just know something's happened, yes. Well, let's bounce on up to outside of Jack Daw's tomb and we'll go from there. I've got to see if I can remember everything. It's, I'm so out of practice. Nice ominous rumblings. Nonsense. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. Matters are important, though, aren't they? Even in a fight. Experience. I know all about it. Yes, Niffler, you can settle down now. Hello for more. Tell who that is as soon as you hear him. Yeah, go on, go home. <clears throat> okay, no more of that. I will take you. I've got a male and a female. Don't really want to go there. Yeah. Don't need to go into that camp. I won't go into that camp. Okay, we've got some more dudes up here. Take that. Yep, I'll take them. Thank you. Uh, now, up there. Yeah. Got to get used to all these controls again. I'm so out of practice.
Uh, I'm going to say there's, yep, there is loyalists. This be Mr. Oates' campsite. I watch the loyalists just ahead. So I think my force will be discreet. Yes. Really? Do they? Yeah, that was a bit rude. Um, yeah, I don't need that. Okay, that's all good. And that's all good. All right. It's not what I wanted. Rebellion. That's what I wanted. Okay, that's good. Adelaide said that her uncle kept notes of his trades, maps. Perhaps these landmarks will lead me to him. Perhaps they will. Revelio. Confringo. So there. Come on, let me through. Let me through. I should investigate. Rebellion. That all. Okay. Settings. Okay. Uh, Hang on, what have we got up here? Something up there. Hey, is that right? What, Twitch decided you weren't allowed to play? That's a bit rude of Twitch.
Oh, I'm not taking. Oh, no, we're going over there. Yeah. Huh, how weird. Well, I suppose it is Twitch. That said, how you go? Keep them well, I hope. Um, that way, over there. We're going to go that way or over there? Let's go that way. A crooked tree, just as the map said. Crumbling tower shouldn't be far from here. Oh, they must be up there. Uh, oh, oh, what do we have here? It's flashing. Uh, a dark flat cap. Oh, it's not the button I wanted. That's the button I wanted. Okay, they're not any better. That's definitely not better. That's nothing new. And we're all good. Okay, interesting. Would have been probably quite a sight to see. People underestimate those little snub fighters because they really can be, in the hands of a decent pilot, they can be pretty devastating because people underestimate them. I'm not going to take on the Merlin trial. I mean, I've got all the slots that I need. I don't need any more. Oh, hang on. Maybe not. Uh, it's under ingredients. No, it would be in... No, not there. Challenges. I think it's under exploration. Ancient magic, pop balloons, melon trials. Here we go. Oh yeah, I better do the melon trial then. Hello. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Okay, one up there, one over there, and and the crumbling tower. The spot on the map should be directly south of here. It should be, but I just noticed that I can actually search over here. And these rocks have seen better days. So I'm going to search over here. What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Unidentified. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I see, I... I have to admit, I cannot understand players who cheat in a game like that. I mean... 
what did what sort of sense of accomplishment do they get for it? Because there is no accomplishment. Yeah, they can't even they can't even claim bragging rights. Because what? Well, if they brag about it, then they're going to get busted for cheating straight up. So where's the what? Well, unless it's just bragging amongst their own little group, but boy, oh boy, that's that's pretty pretty fucking lame to be honest. Okay, so there's the other one. That one, okay, so... Can I reach that one from here? No. I have to do it the hard way. From there. Hey. No. Far out. Boy, I'm really, really <laughs> bad with the controls at the moment. It's been two weeks since I played this game. The thing is, most of them are only doing it for the validation they get amongst their group. So if their group didn't validate them for cheating, then there'd be no point to it. The thing is, their group cheats too. So they all think it's all a huge, big laugh. We can we can beat the man, beat the system, whatever term they want to use for it. All it does is it harms the game for everybody. And if they get busted cheating, then they lose the game. But it's the same with every game. I mean, Rust is a real big one. The number of people who cheat in that game is just crazy insane. But they're not the only ones. I mean... EVE Online, Elite Dangerous, Star Citizen, I mean, any multiplayer online game. And you've got this culture of these groups who think that it's just cool to play the game and break it and, and take advantage of it any which way they can. And, yeah, I'll admit, I can't understand it because it's just contrary to... Oh, it's contrary to everything I am, so that's sort of it's a big reason why I, I can't understand it. But the thing is, oh, shit, abusing a known bug for your advantage is cheating. Exactly, they are trash. What do we have here? We have a dude that I'm going to try and petrify, like. I'm not here. You didn't see me. <laughs> no, nobody here. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. I may have more luck higher up in the keep. You think? Well, that's true. That's not the button I wanted to press. Far out. I don't like 
like the looks of that encampment. Okay, so that is. Uh, okay, that's where I'm getting confused. I should rebind that actually. Shift is commonly used for sprint. Here it's not, it's used for dodge. Control is used for sprint, which is commonly used for dodge. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. That's what I need. It's funny how those sorts of people are the first ones to get salty about shit too. I think it's so funny. They're the ones cheating and they're the ones abusing it and then they're the first ones to get salty. Sorry, buddy. You're in my way. Now. Oh, I hear him. There he is. You can feel it? Release you? How does that sound? Look! Oh, my mouse is being super sensitive for some reason. I should speak more kindly to it because it's being so sensitive. I best petrify them both. Worried about me that you're friends. Wow, you're really slow off the mark, buddy. On hands. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. These cheesy one-liners. Oh, we have a troll over there. I really should probably go and take care of the... Ooh, nice. Um, take care of the troll before uh, I venture inside. We're going to have pretty intense combats once we get inside. Catch and throw a disarmed weapon. Hey, what am I doing out here? How did I 
get out here. Fine, you can follow me if you like. There you go, follow me back in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Status, you can go over there. Stay there. Okay, now we have to go inside. I did break, is it? I broke it big. Uh, no, no, we don't go this way. This is the way we go. Trouble. We'll find trouble. We always find trouble. Or is it the trouble finds us? Either way. Okay, I see bad dudes. Can I get away with sneaking in here before he sees me? Hello, Amora. Of course, the lock popping off like that's not going to give it away, but. Instincts were spot on. Yeah, can I get behind this dude? Boo! You've one less follower, Ranrock. Okay, something's in behind there. Um, can no. Either way. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. Okay, so I can't blast my way through it. What a pity. Ah, but I can blast my way through there. Revenue. 
Okay, it goes up there. Go down here. <clears throat> ah, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Now, will I go up through there? Or around through there? things oh, okay we go this way we'd be very very quiet we're hunting goblins and as you can see there's a few of them in the next room This is not going to be good. A human's word is worthless. This prisoner owes us the metal we were promised. Yes! No, I didn't want to target you, thank you. should stop those one-liners they are really really lame really really lame With magic, of course. Okay, now that takes us back. Where? Oh, okay, this is...
and that's the way we would have come back up if we had it gone around this way okay welcome back What else have we got? Anything? Nope. Alright, there's those. Which is always good to have. Oh, okay, we got these. I love the way it didn't actually let me Yeah, I love the way they get Oh, look, fuck off Now, enough Yeah. Go away. Getting me trapped against the freaking corner like that. Assholes. Oh, yes, I suppose I better talk to you, huh? Hello, Mr. Oaks. Yes, I'm here. Taken my warning. Mm hmm. It's not like I have to find it. I know exactly where it is. It's just not here. Lumos. No. Thank you. Revenue. We've got a huge bit of combat to go yet in there. Alright, what are we looking at? Three, five, eight, ten. One way or another, we'll get what we're earned. One way or another. How nice of you to stop by. Okay, that's really nice. That's really nice game. Thank you very much for that. I really didn't care about that at all, did I? Oh, he's a named. Well, he was a named.
Yeah, and who was that? Look, sprint. Thank you. This game is really bad sometimes in that it doesn't actually honor my key presses and it's really quite annoying when that happens. And there it is, that lame, lame freaking comment thing again. Yeah, the game agreed. I wasn't allowed to make the little people hard. It's pretty sad. here first. Oh, I just got a telescope. That's neat. I already have a telescope, but... Huh? Yeah, see, I already have a telescope. That was something to do with collections, though. I don't know. I'll check it later. Thank you. Perhaps now he can set himself free. Perhaps. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up and let me give it to you. You did it. I found my wand and... Wait, you're a student? Oh, we must get you to safety immediately. It's dangerous. <laughs> you think? I've dealt with these goblins before. Dear Merlin. You're either very lucky or very talented. Well, how did you find me? 
I'm a friend of Adelaide's. She was worried about your business with Ranrock's loyalists. Oh, she was right to be. I didn't go through with the opinions, and when I told them, I ended up blindfolded and behind bars. I oh, know, it's pretty over the top, isn't it? For so long, they forgot I was even there. They overheard things. If only I could reward you for what you've done. Blasting goblins stole every canut on me. All I can say is thank you, truly. You mentioned you overheard things. Sad tale, really. I think I know where Ramrock's unfortunate vendetta against wizard kind began. Although dragon breeding was outlawed by the Warlocks Convention of 1709, Ramrock stumbled upon an illegal dragon camp. He was young, found the creatures fascinating. He'd visit the camp in secret whenever he could, never making his presence known. After weeks of sly surveillance, he finally summoned the courage to speak to the wizard in charge. Ranrock wanted to join them and the creatures. The wizard happened to drop his wand. Ranrock saw an opportunity. He picked it up, went to hand it back as a, a means of introducing himself. The sight of a goblin with a wand sent the wizard into an instant rage. He beat Ranrock nearly to death. Ever since, Ramrock has despised wizard kind. Sees us all as cruel. Mm-hmm. Am I right that you speak gobbledygook? Unbeknownst to Ramrock's fiends, I do. I've always had an affinity for goblin culture. Knew I wanted to be a metal trader ever since I was a lad. It wasn't easy learning the language. It's, it's complex. My memory's as weak as my knees these days. But after decades working with fine goblin folk, I grew fairly proficient. At least, I'd like to think so. That's good to know. I'm grateful I was able to help you, Mr. Oaks. Adelaide thinks the world of you. Oh, and I her. She's become quite savvy to my training. Oh, it's quite dapper. Always what are you talking about? My detailed hours. Oh, if only I hadn't resorted to trading with such fiends. A lesson I shan't soon forget. Having my wand back is like being reunited with an old friend. I must return home and inform Adelaide of my safety. Will you be all right? I'll be fine, Mr. Oaks. You get back to Adelaide. I assure you. Her worries outweigh yours. Oh, I'm anxious to see my dear niece. <laughs> and then I plan to travel far from here for my next round of trading. Thank you. May life reward you justly for your deeds. Be well, my friend. <laughs> yeah, and I can't do that. See, I can't apparate out of here. I've got to have to run all the way back. <laughs> this looks like trouble. Seriously? What trouble? I killed it all. What trouble? No, nah, not a true handlebar, absolutely. All right, let's go back to yeah. Okay, sort out what gear I got. Hmm, a lot of unidentified stuff. Well, it's identified now. And I did it again. I'm so used to hitting tab to open up the inventory. Wow, okay. That is actually better. Increased damage from Mandrake. I don't care about that. Oh. 
62 is better. Decrease from inferi, that's another that matter. That's quite an increase actually, let's go with that. Um, there it is. What have we got? Bombarda. Deer cow feather. Don't I? Hello, Pepkin. Come here. Where's the other one? There it is. Thank you. Now, what have we got up there? Do I actually have anything in here? I don't have anything in here. Not really the right biome for you, but I'll put you there anyway. Alright, that works for me. Uh, it's because of the Ajuris potion. It gives me sto it's basically a stone skin potion. Speaking of which, I need to make some more by the looks of it. Uh, 
Okay, let's use me the 12. 12 of them. There we go. Mm. Increased damage from Decreased damage taken from trolls. That could be handy. They hit pretty hard. I'll go with that one, actually. And I don't have anything for level 2, so I don't have a Diracal yet. Okay, well, we'll do that on that. And that on that. Sort of covers all the bases, I think. In Fari, that's the other one. And increased damage with Petrificus to tell us. And increased fill magic, magic fill. That's good. No, okay, I'm happy with that. All right, now what have we got? Oh, yeah, well, I've still got a... Yeah. Actually, we'll go and talk to Natty. We'll have a look at that. First of all, however, let us... Ah, there we go. Oh, only one infamous foe so far. Interesting. Oh, hang on, I need to sell stuff. That's what I need to do. That's him. Yep, here get. Okay, that's good. What have we got here? Just oh, two of them. Okay. Still so done. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that one too. Okay, oh, I wanted to hit the map. I'll do the map this way. Alright, where are you, Natty? Oh, yes, yes, yeah, Freaky.
for free. Well, uh, I gotta wait on her again. Hey, Mordred's long time no see, my friend. How are you keeping? I believe so. He supposedly has evidence against Hallow. We need to speak with him. It's Hogwarts. It's been two weeks since I played it, and as a result of which, <laughs> I've forgotten half the keys. Oh, are you all right? <laughs> We're looking for Mr. Bickle. My husband? No, no, not him. Dead. He killed him. Oh, boy. That's right. Overacting. A month in repair, Hummer, that's insane. But it's good that you're getting it back. I don't mean to be grim, but could Harlow have taken him? Archie's satchel is missing, so he may have left on his own. Hopefully he's just gone wandering, as he's prone to do. Sounds like it might have been pretty serious if uh, it's taken a month to repair it. When my husband... Do you know which way Archie might have gone? He has a little hideout in the forest south of here. He never wanders far. But if he witnessed Harlow doing something to his father... Oh, dear. I, I'm afraid to leave in case he comes back home. They could have gotten a better, a better voice actor. That actually sounded genuine. We'll find your son, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. <laughs> what am I going to do? Go and have a nice strong cup of tea. Please do not worry, Mrs. Bicker. We will bring Archie home. <laughs> Why did he challenge uh, Oh, boy, basically a new uh, replacement laptop. What a sense of that. When I took the letter we found to Officer Singer, she told me about Mr. Bicker. He had been doing the same thing. I mean, a motherboard replacement? That's pretty serious. Evidence to take down Hallow. I had hoped to speak with him about what he had found, but we were too late. What did Officer Singer say about the letter you brought her? To she mind your own business. But she clearly felt that it was not enough. It is a shame that hippogriffs cannot speak. Your friend Highwing could provide all the evidence against Hallow that we need. We will need something more. This must be little Archie's hideout. Rebellion. As Mrs. Bickel mentioned. Archie? Mrs. Bickel? He would not have done this to his own hideout. Someone came here looking for him. Rebellion may be our only hope of finding out which way he went. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you weren't charged for the for the motherboard. I thought we would have found Archie by now. I suspect he'll keep running if he's being followed. If it is Harlow that's pursuing him, I only hope you're right. Men like Harlow would not think twice about killing a child. Rebellion. We must find Archie quickly. Must find Archie quickly. Yeah, right. What have you gotten me into, Natty? Wolf pack. 
We should look around. We should look around. Oh, look, I found something. Archie Satchel. Why would he leave it behind? He was likely running from Harlem, distracted. This may be a good time for rebellion again. Yeah, actually, a lot of games are going over to to cloud saving if you have it turned on to to um. Well, yeah, Steam's offered that option to a lot of things these days. Um, there are some games, however, that I turn that off for because I like to keep them local. But but at least you didn't lose those saves. That's the main thing. Oh, give me that and that. I hope he didn't see Harlow kill his father. He would never overcome it. At least not in any way I can imagine. A fork in the road. We will need Revelio. You really think so? Far out. Oh, Stupid game. Now this is great. We can kill Halo at team at the same time. Actually, I want that. Well, I don't know whether it's that one that I want, but that's... Come back here. Thank you. They are beautiful, are they not? You can see Thestrals too. I witnessed death when I was nine. Saw my first Thestral shortly thereafter. I found comfort in it. Eh, he's going alright. I think those of us who have witnessed I've just finished two weeks of holidays, so I'm back to work. This is the first week back after I'm a couple of weeks, so Really? It was a long time ago in some ways. But in other ways, it's Hello? only yesterday. I still see him so clearly. Shut up. My father was a wonderful man. I <sighs> let us keep moving. We must find Archie. What happened was the quest is revolved is bound to her, and if I get too far away from her. It thinks that I'm abandoning the quest. But I, so I had to wait for them to her to waffle on and waffle on and waffle on. Hush now, what do you think the fuck I'm doing? Ah, oh, the game's doing its usual thing and not honouring my key presses again. I think that's how they... Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I like how Natty's just standing there not doing anything. Do you plan on helping anytime soon?
Uh, it looks like I'm not going to get any help from Natty. Is that all you know how to do? Am I? What the fuck are you? Hello? This is as I feared. They have Archie. Be honest. Oh, jeez. No mistakes. Rebellion. I did not expect this tent to be so large on the inside. I don't have the unforgivable curses at this time, and this character is not going to get them either. Um, I'm actually quite low along the, the uh, along that path, and I've already opted not to go down the unforgivable curse path. I mean, I am a what am I a Hufflepuff? Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. Too late. Thank you. I see Natty's not with me again. Obviously the bug has, the, the quest is bugged out, or the bug is quested out, I don't know, no, quest, the quest is bugged out, that's what it is. Yeah, smashing their faces into the ground a bunch of times works wonders actually. Oh. Really? I forgot to sell all this crap gear. Yeah, although you're right, Mordred, however, they are still considered unforgivable curses, even in this era. But, I mean, I think I've already been through... Let me just check here.
Okay, so I haven't even been to the scriptorum yet, so I don't even haven't even reached the point of getting Crucio yet. Which is the first one you get. Then the Imperio, and then Avada Kedavra is, is the last one you get. I mean, I really wish Natty was... No, actually, I'm glad that she's not here, because she can be a pain in the ass. Hey, drunk dude. You've made a great mistake. Have I? Somebody out there? Yes. Just me. That I defeated him without actually raising my wand once. No, there's nobody here. Where the hell they got him? Oh, downstairs. Bickle. How do you know who I am? <sighs> Your mother sent us to find you. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, are you gonna let me? We need to get this open. Thank you. Could have had it open by now. I mean, introductions could have happened after the fact. Well, it's just my winning personality. A man called Harlow. He killed my father. We're so sorry, Archie. We won't let him get away with this. First, we need to get you home to your mother. Thank you for saving me. You wouldn't have it any other way, Archie. Now, let's get you home. We know a safe way back. We do? How? <gasps> Magics! Yeah, um, Alohomora is supposed to just instantly unlock shit, uh, except in this game. Because in this game, you have to then play a little mini game to actually unlock it, which means you're actually picking the lock, you're not magically magicking the lock. Oh, oh, you decided to show up, slacker. Hello. Yes, mother. I want to go. Thank you. Your husband's friends may be in danger. Just as he was. How can we help? You've done enough. My husband was a powerful wizard and couldn't defeat Harlow. Well, he wasn't that powerful then, huh? After you. He's already after us. Maybe too late for that. <laughs> Maybe. Then you needn't anger him further. Well, yes, we do. I assure we want to piss him off. could be a lot worse. No, please, not at all. Please keep your distance. I'm sorry again about your husband, Mrs. Bickle. Thank you. And thank you for bringing Archie home. I can never repay the... Yeah, Mordred, that's why somebody went out there and actually created a mod. Not to worry, Mrs. Bickle. My father used to say that rain does not fall on one roof. Luna, thank you. you Welcome. Damn, I actually did hear that chime that time. Uh, yeah, somebody's already made a mod, Mordred, that actually turns Alo Amora into, you do it, and it just bang, it's unlocked. You don't have to go through the minigame. It's Auto Amora, I think they call it, something like that. I think that mod came out, I think, three days, two, three days after the game dropped. Uh, um, 
Yeah, no, I'm not going to go and talk to him. I don't want to do that thing yet. What I will do before I forget this time is go and sell the excessive junk that I've got. I'll have to check you. And you. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lauer. Man, how many times are you actually gonna say that? I mean, I understand that I saved you some trouble, but I don't think I saved you that much time. Okay, now I have to check those. What the hell I hope to see you again. Of course I don't have a bag of infinite holding. I haven't learnt that undetectable extension charm. Isn't that what they call it? See, I'm going to sell you. I'm supposed to keep you. I don't have to redo you, but... See, that's a huge difference. Yeah. We change. Ugh. Okay, we just have to get rid of that. Goodbye. What can I do for you today? Yeah, every single time you see him. Huh, there we go. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. I only come here because you're conveniently close to the point I can portal to. Uh, now which one is that, that one? To use, use that one. I don't, I can't remember which one it is. They're the two biggest ones. We'll go with both of those. Doesn't matter if I double up. Alright, now, um, gloomy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, uh, yes, I have 7,000 galleons. Come back after I've gained another two, maybe three levels, and I'll probably have 20,000 galleons. Considering I've actually spent all the galleons on most of the stuff that I need. Ah, uh, that's neither here nor there. Um. Fine, let's go and talk to Sebastian. Uh, yeah, there's not much in the way of money sinks in this game. So it reaches a point once you buy all the stuff that you need to buy... He's down there. Uh, yeah, once you buy all the stuff that you need to buy, you've got nothing to spend your money on.
Really? That way? Yeah, send me the other way. Okay. Oh, no, there's not. Once you've bought all the stuff that you need to buy, there's nothing left to spend your money on. So, But you do accumulate gear constantly. So either throw the gear away or sell it. So I end up selling it. And you end up with bulk of money. Shut up, peeves. Wow. This thing is sending me all... Wow. All over the bloody place. Look at this. Hello, Amit. Oh, well, suppose, but yeah, once you buy them, then you've done with that as well. You're here. Brilliant. Yeah, and make even more money. I received your owl. What happened with Ominous? I told him none of us will be able to avoid dark magic forever. So the more we know about Salazar Slytherin and the dark arts, the better prepared we'll be. Unfortunately, he doesn't agree. He knows the location of the scriptorium's entrance, and Ominous won't tell me. <sighs> he doesn't trust you. I should have a chat with Ominous. You? I suppose it's worth a try. But don't get your hopes up. Ominous is annoyingly stubborn. Nothing to do. I know where he is. I lead you to him, and then leave you to it. Come on. He's this way. Yeah. Hello. Are you going? Are you going? Yeah, we're not in any rush, mate. No Keep hurry. An eye out. Never know who's watching. Although that hasn't stopped us before. Strictly speaking, it has. We were caught. Damned poltergeist. Such a nuisance. No, we're in no hurry, obviously. Is. Yes. Good luck. What are you doing here? Hello, Ominous. Do you have a moment? What is it? What have you and Sebastian been up to now? I owe you an apology, Ominous. I wasn't honest with you before about the Undercroft. Because he is a pain in the ass. He wanted me to have a safe place to practice some spells to try and catch up to the other fifth years. He didn't think you'd mind. I suppose that makes sense. It's just Sebastian's been pestering me lately about something and I'm frustrated with him. Don't tell me he's still going on about, what was it, a scriptorium? He told you about that. He did. We were talking about Hogwarts founders and he mentioned it. Wouldn't say much more though. Yes, well, he seems to think it contains the answer to... No, I agree with Ominous too. I end up turning Sebastian in, but... Wait, you've never been inside? Of course not. I only know about it because of my favourite aunt, Noctua. She thought like I do. Didn't agree with the family on the use of dark magic. In fact, she'd hoped to convince my family that there was more to Salazar Slytherin than worshipping pure blood status. She'd heard of this scriptorium and thought its contents might shed some light on him. She even found the secret entrance in this very corridor. She wrote regularly to my father about her efforts to gain access, and then she simply vanished. No one else ever tried to enter. Huh. That's a bit unnerving. I suppose even if it might lead to answers about what happened to your aunt, it does pose a risk. Aunt knocked to a window. I mean, your character is rather manipulative if you stop and think about it. I don't want the same to happen again. You don't know that history will repeat itself. Besides, you said your aunt thought like you. This could honor her memory, get you answers about Slytherin and Sebastian answers for Anne. Your aunt pursued this alone. We could do it together. Hmm. I see what you've done here. A 
Agent, I confess. You've convinced me. I didn't think it possible. Very well. I shall tell you what I know. Fetch Sebastian, I'll wait. I do have a salute in character, I'm just not Please streaming it. <laughs> Sebastian, over here. These brave hey, Shipper Bro. For the scriptorium. Now you'll share? Good for you. You wouldn't tell me when I practice in bed. It wasn't you who told me what I needed. Um, and that one. Opening the entrance has something to do with dreams. Well, three heads are better than one. It's two heads are better than one. You think? We're ready for this. No, we're not ready for this. Lumos. A journal entry signed by Noctua Gaunt. Gaunt? Ominous. Your family was here. I know. She was my aunt. You knew? Didn't tell me. Yeah, Ominous. didn't tell you. The journal mentions many challenges ahead. That's why I said this could be dangerous. Uh, I'm not damn it. Get my father informed. I'm here. Repairo. The rubble formed a relief of a person facing a snake. Must be the voice I hear. The voice is ancient. Sinister. You hear a voice. It started when you repaired that relief. I hear a whisper saying, speak to me. I'm a parcel mouth. I can hear and speak to snakes. Nearly <laughs> all known parcel mouths are descended from Salazar Slytherin. I'd like to be able to talk to snakes. You might not want the ability to speak past the tongue. It's often That's because they speak shit to about everybody. I haven't spoken it in ages, but I'd wager if I speak it now, the door will open. I'm hoping you're having second thoughts. Believe me, I am having thoughts, but I'm still convinced we should go ahead. It's ironic. When I left home, I vowed to leave the dark arts behind, and yet here I am. Stand back. Unless it's a Jabberwocky. <laughs> it was ominous. You possess a rare ability indeed. Between the two of you, I'm starting to feel left out. Ha. Huh. Between the two of us. I never mind. Lumos is no clear way forward. Like a name. Salazar Slytherin most likely wanted this to be difficult to solve. Really? Door we came from, it closed. You think? More than one gate ahead. Okay, sun and moon and snake. Oh, I've got to wait for this. Damn it, cute. The dial requires focus. Aunt Noctua said the same. It may take practice to solve it. Matching the symbols did open it. I was about to do that myself. Sebastian, you're full of shit. Ominous. Your aunt wanted to change your family's traditions. She did. And she was my favorite person in the world. She was my favorite person in the world. Um... Okay, what have we got here? We've got a scratched off thingy thing and a funny box and triangle. Okay. This journal entry, it mentions getting another gate. Must run in the family. Look in a mirror. Lumos. Another dial solved. Impressive. Nice work. That's a pretty fair sort of guess, I think. Nocturnal reference is painful and arduous challenges, but also rewards. Hey, that's the part I'm wearing. 
Okay, what have we got? We've got a duck and a triangle thing. Duck. No triangle thing. Excellent work. We're another step closer to the scriptorium. Yeah. No, no. Lumos. I mean, I understand Ominous's position, and it's a valid position, an ethical position. This whole place is troubling, but for my aunt's sake, we cannot stop now. Yeah, okay. Let's just lock the character. Can't do Jack. Thank you. I think we're locked in. You think? Then Salazar Slytherin is not yet finished with us. Ominous. A skeleton. And Noctua's last journal entry. Yes. She mentions being trapped here, blocked by an unforgivable curse. Yep. <sighs> yeah, good question, actually. Apparently, he knows all this shit. He just doesn't know this shit until he needs to know this shit. It's going to be difficult. Oh, do I have to? said you know what to do tortured faces on the door and crucio is etched into the stone my guess is if we cast the cruciatus curse the door will open that's why noctua died she had no one to cast the curse on ominous has the most experience with this he should cast it you seem to be in ominous's favor will you ask him about this yeah fine I seem a bit cross with you <laughs> good Work your magic, so to speak. That is lame. We had some liquid luck. All of this could have been avoided. Ominous. I hadn't imagined we'd end up trapped like this. Salazar Slytherin did. He's to blame for many unimaginable things. I overheard him, Sebastian, and I won't do it. The Cruciatus curse is pure torture. I would know. How would you know? I was taught the Cruciatus Curse as a child. My family's tradition involved torturing muggles. When I refused, I tasted the agony of the curse myself. Eventually, I did what my family asked. When you witness something, never um, your own hands. You never forget. No. Unforgivable curse. No, he doesn't. Work unless you really mean them. I had to want cause pain and for that I shall never the only way he can get hit with the curse is if I was to learn Crucio and cast it on him and I don't want to learn the Crucio you watch this if you cast Crucio you will regret it forever see talk to Sebastian yeah guess what Sebastian happens to know how to cast Crucio what do we do now Ominous is not going to cast the Cruciatus curse again ridiculous as if dying in here is a better option than casting a damned spell. <sighs> it's up to us. I can teach you Crucio, See? or I can cast it on you. You didn't say you knew how to cast Crucio. Because I'm not sure I do. Ominous knows that, yet he's left us no choice. I don't yearn to follow in Noctua Gaunt's footsteps. I think I can cast it if I have to. Hmm... See, I really don't want to go down the unforgivable curse path. <sighs> no, I'm not gonna. I don't want to learn the curse, but I can handle the pain. It's fine. Cast it on me. I shan't forget this. Ready? I'm ready. <sighs> Absolutely.
Exactly. Ha 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 ha. Are you alright? That pain, it was excruciating. You think? I'll survive. Let's keep moving. We made it. We found Salazar Slytherin's scriptorium. I can't believe we're here. Sebastian, ominous. There's a book just here. You found something. No. You two go ahead. Didn't find anything. Let me know what's in it and I'll wander around a bit. Didn't find a thing. No, no, you can't have a look. Let's have this 400 year old drink, shall we? Yeah, yeah, just brewed yesterday. Ah, uh, Sather's the last Slytherin having a good old whinge about his fellow Hogwarts founders. And it talks about the creature in the deep sleep in the Chamber of Secrets. We don't know what that is. Fine. What do you think? Looks like a spell book of some kind. This is incredible. A Hogwarts founder's possession. What an honor. Still can't believe Ominous never told me about his arms and what she found. What will you do with Slytherin's spell book? What I do with every book. Read it. Having professors as parents ingrained that habit early on. But I can do that later. For now, I say we explore this room. It's breathtaking. It is 1800s. It's meant to be 1800s. I don't want to leave, but I owe you. Both of you. Without both of you, we'd never have made it this far. We were lucky. We could have died. We must swear never to do this again. Yes, ominous. Never again, that's right. Yeah, I, about 800 years. Well, it's, it's just matured, that's all it is. Aged, aged. I meant what I said before. We swear, right now, never to engage in anything to do with dark magic again. Understood. Unfortunately, Ominous is being a little bit too. I suppose after um, I am I'm looking. He's dropping ultimatums that it definitely should can't be kept. He's being a little bit hypocritical, even by himself. I think you'll find. Um, yeah, I'm me um, Yeah, I, I actually think ominous. I agree with ominous, but I think he's also being a little bit hypocritical and being a little bit overly judgy. I guess. More moons. How many moons do I have actually? Five. So I need seven more. Uh, I'm not going to go hunting for moons. I did learn, did get some gear. Shitty gear, but gear nonetheless. Mm hmm. Crap. Crap gear. Uh, okay, whoever that was. I think I must have killed him somewhere along the lines. Kelpie statue, alright. Oh, a lucky leprechaun hat. Hey, look at that. What? I mean to say I've got... <laughs> That's hilarious. 
<laughs> he even puts his hair up in it. <laughs> I suppose he's got to keep the hair somewhere. <laughs> Oh, absolutely, yep, yep. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, that's why I don't, I don't wear hats in the game. No, you can't be an Animagus. Or or a werewolf, no. I mean, it'd be nice if they included the ability to become an Animagus. That Natty that I was with before, she's an Animagus. Which, I mean, I don't know that just yet, but I, 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 I will find that out down the track. Um... Yeah, so being able to, to be an Animagus would be pretty cool. I mean, it's the same with, like, a Patronus. You don't even learn Patronus. You can't cast a Patronus. In fact, there is only one instance where a Patronus is even cast in this game, and it's not by you. And it's only if you are a Hufflepuff. It's part of a quest line to do with Hufflepuff right early in the piece. Uh, you actually go to Azkaban, believe it or not, not as a prisoner and Patronus is actually cast during that particular part of the story quest line but it's only for, for a, if you're a half above um, so yeah I can't even cast a Patronus which sort of a bit silly you're up against evil all the time and you can't cast a Patronus so yeah but that said I am going to pull this stream to a close at this point in time it's reached that time. It's sort of just a logical point that um, I don't really have the time to proceed on with anything else. No, no Dementors in this game. At least not here. In Azkaban, but that's why it only shows up as part of that story quest part early in the game for a half a puff. So, but thanks for dropping in, guys. Good to see you again, Mordred's. Uh, ads, yeah. So I'll just sit here. But uh, again, Luna, th thanks for the sub, man. It, shit, very much appreciated. Can't believe you've subbed so many times. It's been that long. But yeah, very much appreciated again. Uh, Zorik, if you're still here, good to see you again. And Mordred, good to catch up with you once again. I'm glad you're getting your laptop back or gotten your laptop back and it's all getting sorted out. So hopefully we'll see you around. I, just for your heads up, I am, I am still planning to put together another Atlas server. So stay tuned for that. It's reached a point where I think I need to see about putting something together. But uh, at the moment, time has been a problem. So hopefully sometime soon there will be news about that and I'll be able to drop some details in Discord for you. Uh, and for anybody else interested. But until then, um, thanks again for dropping in, and I shall catch you all later. Bye.